Welcome back to another episode of MacBreak Studio. Uh, we're talking media management, and uh, what is this, a follow-up to our excellent media management tutorial on Final Cut Pro it, 10? It is a follow-up to our excellent media management tutorial. Yeah, in fact, there's been some questions that came up. There's a, I covered a lot of scenarios in that tutorial. We talk about a lot of different uh, ways of dealing with situations where you need to share your media with other editors, or you want to move from a desktop machine to a laptop to go on the road, and those types of things. But I had a lot of people asking me about proxy media workflow. And the scenario is one in which they want to be able to take their proxies with them on a portable machine and leave the original media on, say, a RAID, on some big hard drive that they don't want to take with them, like you know the big Pegasus RAID. You know, exactly right. can't carry those right. things around. So they with just you. want to have a means of bringing yeah. all the stuff they've transcoded with yeah. them, so they can edit offline just on a slower the, machine, right. maybe. Right, and just the just those proxies, and the and the problem that comes up is basically Final Cut Pro. When you determine a storage location, it's for your original media, your optimized media, and your proxy media all get stored in the same location. Yes. So I want to address how to all do right. that. Okay. Excellent. So the first is I'm going to look at a couple of scenarios. The first one is from scratch, how do you set it up correctly? So I've created a new library, and if I select it and go to the, to the library inspector, we can see that it's set up currently to place all the media, including original and any transcoded media, in the library, and that library exists on this machine. You can see the little tooltip tells us that it's right here in the movies folder, okay? Uh, as well as the cache. Now, in this instance, I really want, I haven't imported anything yet. Okay, I'm just starting out, and I know that I want my proxies here on this machine, but I want all my original media on another drive. On another drive. So, what I'm going to do is click Modify Settings, and then for the media, I'm going to target that other drive. And I have a drive connected here, which I'll select, and I'll hit Choose. I don't really care about the cache right now, and now any media that I import will go to that drive. Okay? So I'll hit Command I to import, and I'll select a couple clips to import. I'll choose Import Selected. Now, here's the key part to setting this up. I'm going to copy those to this drive. I could leave them in place. It doesn't really matter. But in this case, I'm going to copy to that location. And then if I needed optimized media, I could check that. Sure. Really, if you need it, if you're working with optimized media, if you're doing a bunch of multicam or something, uh, in this case, I don't. The key is I am not going to choose to create proxy media right now. Because if I did, it would put that proxy media... On that external location, that folder. Exactly. It would right. put it there. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say import. And it brings those clips in. And if I go back to the library inspector, we can see under media locations that the media I've imported is all on that transcend external drive. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we can also see we don't have any proxy media. So. Now, before I create the proxy media, and this is the key that you need to understand about Final Cut, how flexible it is. You can create transcoded media, proxy or optimized, when you import or after. Right. Right? That's kind of the key. So I'm going to go back to modify settings for the library, and I'm going to change the media location to in the library, okay, uh, which is on this drive. Right. I could also change to I also target other, meaning another location on this drive, or maybe I have a little portable drive that I want to put the proxies on. I can choose wherever I want to put those proxies separate from the original media. And this is what you're doing now. Yes. So in this case, I'll choose in library. I'll say OK. And then what I'll do, with the event selected, I'll choose file, transcode media, and then I'll select create proxy media. So I'll click OK. And now it's going through and making copies. So now if I go back and select the library and return to the library inspector, we can see under media locations that my original media is on that external transcend drive, but my proxy media is right here on my internal drive. Okay? It, it's, it's awesome, but it also feels like a little bit of prex, prex, prexel logic, where it's like I'm having to well, stand on bit, one but, foot, but... But that, now the, the cool thing I mean, is... Well, wait a second. Yeah, is, yeah, I yeah. think what you said is okay. very important. Okay. I think that's an excellent workflow, but what I noticed is you had to do things in a specific yes. order for, it to, yes. for, for you to set up this workflow. That's, that is true. That is true that I had to do that, and you may not have done that. Right. Uh, but just to... If I now take a clip and drop it in my timeline, I now have a clip in my timeline, and let's make the clip appearance a little larger so we can really see it there. If I switch the view to proxy, it will switch over and we now have the proxy media right. being used. So sure. it works very well. The question you may have is, well, wait a minute, that's great, but what if I already did transcode my media on that external Which drive? a lot of people are going to have that. What do I do? do? What do I do? Yeah. yeah. It's, so in order to show you, um, let me just explain what, what, what that's going to happen there, is if you've already done that, 
you still need to create the transcoded media on your local drive. You can't move it. Right. So all you'll need to do, though, is to delete that transcoded media that is on that external drive ah, first. Right, and okay. then you regenerate it on the target drive. Yes. Got it. Yes. So it is, it is, you do need to regenerate the, move, the, the media on the target drive. However, one nice thing about that is, so let, let's walk through that really quickly here. What I'm going to do on this target drive is choose delete generated event files, and I'm going to delete the proxy media that I just created just to get rid of it. So now we're back to a situation where we just have original media on that external drive. I'm also going to go back to modify settings and target that external drive right here. So proxy and optimize would be and optimize would be generated there as well. Yeah, and so I'm going to basically make the mistake of creating the the proxy media in the same location as the original media. So because this this is really the question people have is they've already done it. So here we have both original and proxy media sitting on the external the drive. drive. And they're like, wait, how can I bring that proxy media over? And they open the packages up and they try to move it over by hand. It doesn't work that way. Right. Um, and, you, and you can't generate it in the new location until you've removed it from the old location. The thing that's kind of cool is if you just need the proxy media for a project, not the entire library, because you're like, oh my god, I've got a library, thousands of clips, I don't want to have to regenerate all that proxy media. If all you're interested in is this particular edit you're working on, check this out. For this particular project, I just have one of the two clips in it, right? right? So what I'm going to do is go to the file menu and choose delete generated project files. For just that project. For just that project. So delete proxy media, and it will only delete that one clip that's on that RAID. Okay? So now what I can do is with the library selected, is I can change my storage location to the library on my local drive. And then with that project select again, I can choose to transcode media, which will transcode just that single clip in this case, just the clips in that project, which in this case is a single clip. So what I've done effectively is ended up with proxy media in two locations, right? right? All the proxy media that I don't need to have with me is still over on that RAID. But the proxy I need, media I need with me is here with me where I need it. That's okay. So what's <laughs> kind of cool is if I if I just have to finish the idea out, if I switch to viewing and proxy right now, uh, this clip is fine. But if I take this clip and try to add it to the timeline, oh, it's no, no, it's still I'm still connected to this. I'm still connected to my RAID right, right so now. So you're still going to see it. But if I disconnected from my RAID, that second clip would be, be offline. offline. Would exactly. be offline exactly. So that's the way to deal. Ideally, I would like a way that you could use the consolidate command to just move proxy media. But without that, this is how right. you can So what I, what I hear you saying is, say, Apple, please give me that ability to be able to move proxy media to yeah. wherever I want yeah. it. Just so I don't because need, it, need it, it. Right. I mean, there's certainly, this is great, but, that, but you have to kind of cross your T's and dot your I's a little yeah. bit. So you're probably going to want to watch this episode more than once <laughs> to kind of <laughs> get it. But think of this as the addendum to our 10.1.2 media management tutorial. Exactly. Um, and it's great. Thank you for giving us the feedback. Otherwise, we'll... You know, well, we'd be sitting here wondering what to do next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, check us out, Ripple Training. We have, like I, uh, like I mentioned, the aforementioned media management tutorial, which you can get. It's excellent. And uh, follow us on uh, Twitter and, like I said, Facebook and all that other social media stuff. Uh, thanks for watching another episode of MacWake Studio.